absolutely love this film. I love this film so much that I feel I should have taken it to dinner and then home to meet my parents. It was perfect. And it would be rude to pick on children because, yeah. you, and I'm not going to. And well, this was like watching other people's children in a nativity play without the unexpected joy of someone falling off stage and giving you a little bit of a laugh. Oh, well, she's a 19 year old girl who after a bit of how's your father finds herself pursued by what I can only describe as an ST demon. You can, you're gonna see this in Asda in a couple of weeks with a five pound sticker on it. You got it! Yay. I didn't have to leave. I went to the loo at one point and thought, I'm not going back. No one will know. I'll just make the review up like Richard Bacon used to. Well, who are you to decide that just because this happens to be based on a plastine, plasticine sheep from a Wallace and Gromit short, that that is better than something like the pretentious Birdman that's just sniffing its own self-indulgence? Oh, God, I hate that film. Birdman? Oh, I could talk all day about Birdman. My problem with Birdman is that it is more pretentious than a man in the Northern Quarter with the biggest beard you've ever seen telling you about prog rock from some band you've never heard of. Oh, I can do it. Dude, where's my donkey? Where's my donkey gone? Absolute naff all the way through. You've, you're not scraping the bottom of the barrel. You're down to the center of the earth amongst the bubbling magma with how far you're going to go to try and get a laugh out of people. It's dreadful. We'd just like to apologize for some of the naughty language that Tom has used in his film review. Tom, <laughs> uh, you know, I hear there's a new uh, job on BBC, replacing Jeremy Clark, she's going for that. <laughs> Come on, Tom, maybe in your own deluded mind, but I mean... In one word, how would you sum up the film? In a word, let's say. Brilliant! How Honest... many people were there, let's there, be honest? There, there were no people there, it was just me. Brilliant. It's Art House versus Mainstream. It's a decent film, but for me it's not sort of remarkable in any way, it's just sort of an average drama. It's fine for a Friday night if you're looking to say something, but it's there are better films out there. He works for this um, weapons company. Uh, what he really wants to do is create artificial intelligence and after sort of an energy drink montage he does that. He's sort of the big baddie with his big bad robot and it's just, it was the film. It's just, uh, just unfortunate there's been that, there's been Pudsy the Dog, there's been Nativity Free, it's just, it's a shame that we get so many British films that are that well. terrible. Um, okay, I sort of quite enjoy it, it's paper thin, um, you know, it's no depth here, but you know, that's not to say it isn't enjoyment, I mean all the cast are great, it's a great location, everyone's just having fun and that's really quite infectious, so it's a lot of like, sort of, fun storylines going on. Um, well, the film itself is it's strange, but you know, it's like, love is strange. You know, it's all about, you know, sometimes love throws you in these strange situations and they're all clearly having it. So how would you sum the film up in three words, David? A really charming film that I think is really accessible to everyone and everyone should make a time to go and see. Well, that's more than three words. Thank you. Yeah, I always say that the cinema is the best place to watch films, but you don't necessarily have the best choice to watch. Um, 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 by, um, 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 and um, it's about sort of, uh, there's sort of a lot of different storylines. Well, I think worst is perhaps the wrong word, but certainly the film that I was most disappointed by this year was um, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. What? Captain America 2 is one of the... I'll hold him back, David. I'm gonna try and act it out. Oh. So he's sort of wrestling with this monster and he gets it by the neck and he goes, Ooh. breaks its neck. Yeah, it's then, spicy that song. And then just keep going, David. Go on, pull it for me. Come on, prove to me. Um, well, it's just, I don't know what most Good. Ted said. Gonna shock you, seen it, he's right. <gasps> wow, we have just had shock horror in the studio. So I'm thinking you've got a little bit more, but I'd like to ask you guys about Fifty Shades Grey. Now that's coming out in Feb and that seems like one I'd really like to watch. I want to go see Fifty Shades Grey. Well, you're welcome to go and see it. I don't know whether I so will. So I'm the, I'm the great film critic here, really. 10 seconds, guys. You're wrong, David, that's what's wrong. <laughs> Well, um, Avengers 2 will be one of many films released this year, which I'll probably go and see, but it holds no more weight than anything else. Silence from the boys.